Hello, everybody. She is Furio. And he's Fillmore. Together we are... Furious Fillmore. She's kind of cute. And he's Frankie. Welcome to our channel. Good day, everybody. I'm going to have a look at some of the hockey goaltender masks that I have. Vintage fiberglass masks and combo masks and cage and helmet masks. This one right here. This is Billy Smith from the New York Islanders. He wore this in the early and mid-1970s. That would have been before the four Stanley Cups and the drive for five. So that is Billy Smith. Under him, we have Marty Berdur from the New Jersey Devils. This is his very famous combo mask that he wore for pretty much his whole career with the Devils. The mask didn't change very often as his career went on. So that is Marty Brodeur. Up here we have Mike Liut from the St. Louis Blues. Nineteen eighties, early eighties, mid eighties, before he went to the helmet and cage combo. That is the very intimidating, very plain white Mike Leute mask of the St. Louis Blues. High up is Michelle Dion from the Pittsburgh Penguins. Nineteen eighties, also one of the most recognizable masks of the nineteen eighties. Neck protector would have looked like back in those days. Very well done mask, Michelle Dion, Pittsburgh Penguins. Below him, one of my favorites, Murray Bannerman, Chicago Blackhawks, also in the nineteen eighties. That is an absolutely beautiful mask. I love it. It's one of the favorites of my collection. Under him, we have a Ken Dryden Target mask. Montreal Canadiens, 1970s, after the pretzel mask. Also a very recognizable mask of the 1970s. Beside him is J.D., John Davidson, New York Rangers, also in the 1970s, very early 1980s. John Davidson. Above him, the man, Grant Fuhr, Edmonton Oilers, before he went to the combo. This was his fiberglass face mask in the mid 80s, early to mid 80s for the Edmonton Oilers. Above that, Ronnie Lowe, Detroit Red Wings, 1970s. Wasn't there very long, but while he was there, that is the mask that he wore. Nineteen seventies again, Ron Lowe, Detroit Red Wings. Love the top of that mask. Very nice. Number on the side. Beside him, rest in peace, Mr. Wayne Stevenson of the Philadelphia Flyers. Also from the 1970s. Nice looking mask there. 
under that. Gratuni the Looney. Gilles Graton, New York Rangers. No logo, no team name, but a very intimidating mask. Beside him, combo, helmet, and cage. This is top international goaltender of the 1970s, Vladislav Trechak of Team Russia. Think of the 1972 Summit Series. He started to wear this mask so he could see a little bit better than other goalies and the NHL kind of said, hey, he's stopping a lot of pucks, so let's give it a try. If you're a true hockey fan, Team Russia, Vladislav Trechak, 1970s. Beautiful replica helmet there. Beautiful. Love that mask. Cooper. CCCP. Vladislav Trechak. Over here is another Ken Dryden target mask made by a different builder than the other one. But pretty much the exact same thing. Happy to have it in my collection. Above that, Yves Belanger, Atlanta Flames. In the 1970s. So this is before Calgary. Beside him, Mr. Bernie Wolf, Washington Capitals, 1970s, Stars and Stripes. Nice mask. Love the look of this mask. Very, very nice. The number one mask in my collection. My favorite mask of all time. Right there. Number 35, Tony Esposito. The late, great Tony Esposito from the Chicago Blackhawks. All throughout the 1970s, half the 70s without the cage, half the 70s with, into the 1980s until he retired. That is the mask of the legendary Tony Esposito. Below him, number one on every list of greatest goalie mask ever made. Jerry Cheever's stitch mask. Every time he get hit in the face or the head with a puck, he took a marker on the mask, how many stitches he would have had. That is the cream of the crop. Number one on everybody's list of greatest goalie mask of all time. Beside him is Jimmy Rutherford, Detroit Red Wings, 1970s. There's the wings, and they are red. Very nice looking mask. Above Jimmy is an early Grant Fuhrer Edmonton Oilers replica mask. This would have been uh, very early in his career with the Edmonton Oilers. Full face, round mouth. Grant Fuhrer, Edmonton Oilers. Above him is another Ron Lowe mask. This time, Washington Capitals, 1970s, when they were absolutely horrible. Low name on the side. That is a Ron Lowe mask. Beside him, the absolutely legendary Terry Sawchuk. Detroit Red Wings, New York Rangers, Toronto Maple Leafs. That is an absolutely beautiful replica mask. Look at the stitch on the mouth. Looks like a spider. The tape that was used at the top. This mask looks like it just walked out of 1960. 
Love it. Beside him, Vancouver Canucks, John Garrett. Replica mask. Very nice Canucks logo from the early 80s. Still going strong in the broadcast world. John Garrett. Kansas City Scouts. Denny Heron. When we were kids, Dennis Heron. But Denny. Very, very nice mask right there. Kansas City Scouts, 1970s. Gary Edwards, snowflake mask. Meant to represent the snow that fell in Minnesota. This is a Minnesota North Stars mask from the 1970s. That is one massive snowflake. Cooper SK 2000. Could have been anybody in the 1980s. Helmet and co uh, cage combo. Think of Dan Cloutier with the Vancouver Canucks. That's kind of what he wore right there. Beside that, in the style of Chris Osgood, Detroit Red Wings. SK2000L Cooper helmet and mask combo. That's a beautiful mask. One of my favorites. Very plain, but just amazing mask. Beside that, Grant Fuhrer again. You can tell I'm a Grant Fuhrer fan. Combo mask, 1980s Edmonton Oilers. Here's the Oilers logo again. Those are some of the masks in my private collection. Thanks for taking a look. Thank you for watching. I hope you like it. Please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. Mabuhay Pilipinas. Mabuhay Canada. See you next time.